Adriana, Milena, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi. So, Adriana, tell us what happened next. Okay. So, I've got eight points. So, eight first points. the point is, I would like to know if there is any esoteric reason why I smoke and also why I have really severe back problems, lower back problems. Uh, another point is, I do overthink a lot. My mind is always very busy. Uh, sometimes I can't keep my focus on things and I get easily bored of everything or I rush things. Uh, sometimes I get like blackouts. I find hard to express myself or sometimes when I speak to some people, I get nervous and I forget what I want to say. Um, <clears throat> another point is like, like I have lack of self-esteem or self-respect. Uh, then I would like to know what is my life purpose. Um, <clears throat> another one is lack of financial uh, stability, overspending, like uh, money really doesn't mean much to me. Can you repeat please, Adriana, the last point? The last point, lack of financial stability, ah, financial. overspending, like money doesn't really mean much to me. Another point is I would like to clear if there is any emotional blocks or programs, especially <clears throat> which is stopping me from having a long-term relationship. Normally I attract men with issues or they are much, much younger than me or uh, what happens so many times is just repeating itself. I meet someone, everything is really nice and they just disappear <laughs> without letting me know what's happened. Especially now, which happened now in the last two weeks. I met a person, we met about three times and everything was so nice. And then I don't know what happened in his head. From one day to another, he said, this is just not going to work. So I would like to know if we can find out what really happened there, if it's possible. And then also, <clears throat> last one is that I don't have any family left. My mom passed away quite young and my grandmother. And then I never knew my father. Also, I, th I think what happened there, because I don't really know for sure, that he also just left my mom, he disappeared. So I think maybe is there anything like same pattern, which is repeating? Uh, um, sorry. Did your mother disappear? No, no, oh. not my mother. I think my father. Ah, your father. I, I never met him. I don't know him. Mm -hmm. I only know his name. Yeah. And I never see him in my life. Okay, uh, in the session we try to to concentrate in your in you because um, we want to do the the best work on you. If mm -hmm. we have energy and time, it's a little complicated. We can okay. uh, have a look at other questions. But first mm -hmm. of all, the priority is you. Yeah. So all, that's all my points. Perfect. So turn off your microphone, please, Adriana, and let's start. Perfect. Yes, yes. No? Yes. Milena. Can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very, very okay, well. Perfect. So, do you need a little uh, short induction? No, or no, no. I saw already many things. I can see her and I can feel her fear and her pain, huge pain in her back and in her, her shoulders. And what she has inside, it's a very, very long wire with thorns, huge thorns, piercing her organs and even eyes and, uh, and nerves, and mm -hmm. many things. And okay. It's very painful and it, okay. it comes from other life. Evelina, first of all, do you know, please identify <laughs> Adriana by DNA. Yes, but she has no eyes. Just by those forms. Yes, it's her. Okay, I want to try to connect with her, to talk directly with her. Do you allow me to do it? Yes. Thank you. Adriana? <laughs> Hello. Yes. This is Carlo. How are you? I don't know. How long are you in the situation? I've had my entire life. Do you know me? I know your voice. Who am I? 
I know you somehow. I don't know. For Who am I? Tell me. I, I know you can help me. Did you call me? A part of me, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to work on you? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm very scared. Okay, so let me with Milena now. Yes. Milena. Yeah. Milena, observe, observe Adriana. And um, let's go to the first moment. No, uh, let's go to the moment when the situation started. I already saw it. Mm -hmm. She's like a part of her. I mean, her memory is, is still there. It's on a battle uh, battlefield. It's between German and France, and it's the first uh, uh, world war. war. And uh, she was she was like an Englishman, English soldier, fighting there. And there was a huge explosion. Mm -hmm. and, okay, what yeah. year is it? She died there. Uh, 1916. 1916. Yes, it's in the no north of France. Uh -huh. In which country is is he? France. In France. But she's English, an Englishman. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What is his name there? Hugh. I'm Hugh. You? Can you spell Hugh. his name? Yes, it's. H mm -hmm. U G mm -hmm. H Ah, U G U G. Okay. Mm. So, mm. <coughs> well, uh, how old is you? Very young. It's uh, he is eighteen years old. Eighteen, only eighteen. Okay. So observe exactly this tragic moment and <laughs> explain what happens. I can see him like this explosion through him. Okay, there is an explosion. Yeah. It's a bomb? I don't know the exact name, but this is um, inside. There is There are okay. a lot of pieces of metal. And, okay, uh, is it a metal device? Yeah, right? yeah, yes, German, yeah. Okay, yes. so this device explodes, right? Yes. And and Hugh, Hugh dies in the in the explosion, right? Yes, in the air. In the air. Okay, so observe the moment Prone. of the moment yes. of death of Hugh, and tell me during the touchdown when he has been pierced by this wire with thorns. You know, there is a lot of wire with thorns protecting the, the, the camp. Ah, the camp. Okay, so and observe the moment. She has it inside. Okay, the corp of Hugh is in the, in the metal, in the, in the wires, the military wires, right? Yes, pierced. Pierced, Completely okay. So pierced. now observe when Hugh leaves. Uh, the, the the corp the body and tell me what you does exactly that wasn't all right <coughs> he's not okay with that okay <laughs> tell me uh, and does he go in any way or not like if his uh, etheric part was crying he's crying so uh, he want to go anywhere does she, does he notice that he, he is dead now yes but he is so angry with that he's it's angry not mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so it's not okay. what does he do it's not right what does he do <laughs> milena just forward forward one hour in the time in the timeline there is now. A wall, energetic wall. Wall. Right. 
Yes. Gray wall. Huge mm -hmm. gray wall, energetic wall. Mm -hmm. With images, I don't know, scenes like a movie screen or something like this, like in the cinema. <laughs> and uh, someone from the screen is calling him, come on, mm -hmm. come on, it's your time. Mm -hmm. And? Who is and him? who follows that voice, that image? I think he knew that movie, this film. It's funny, it's a beautiful woman, beautiful actress. Mm -hmm. But this no. is a whole drama. No, I didn't. So, who is it? This, this woman? It's not a woman, it's not a screen. It's just a hologram and... Okay, so what does have what happen when what happens to Hugh in this moment exactly? They are calling him. Mm -hmm. And this place. And does and it go? He, yes, like if he entered in this movie screen. Mm -hmm. But this is not a movie, this is not a film. And what happened inside the screen? There is a tunnel, there is a mm -hmm. pathway. Okay, go, go forward. So, go. what happens go. now? Up and up and up, like a lift. Mm -hmm. And there is a spaceship, a lot of spaceships. Mm -hmm. Spaceships. Mm -hmm. What happens? Tell me. And he enters directly to to the one which is like uh, the the form is like a round circle, mm -hmm. and it was a movie. It's your life. Okay. So now observe if Yuk is prepared for another life, another reincarnation. Of course. Of course. So the next life, is the next life the life of Adrena or not? Yes. <coughs> the Adrena. Yeah. So let's go to the moment when this reincarnation is decided in this right moment. Her, like, essential part is asking, why can't you get it off? Why I have to incarnate with this wire? Mm -hmm. Why I have to suffer? Who is the manager of this reincarnation? The, the, the big, the big uh, reptiloid. The big reptiloid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I want to talk to this reptiloid. What is his name? You are nobody to know my name. On Who are you? Nobody. Who are you? <laughs> I am everyone. Everybody. Did I meet you in past? You wish. No, I don't want. You wished. Do you remember me? I don't want to remember you. Yes, but you you remember, right? Mm-hmm. So, what happened the last time we we met? Last month. <laughs> and what happened in this moment? I don't want to talk with you. <clears throat> I hate you. Mm, do you like to to be channeled into Milena's body? Now this bitch is doing with me what she wants. I don't want to talk to you. You have to talk to me because I want to do it. You are under control. You are under the will of Adriana. Don't you know? I don't want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. When you interfere into another being, you are under this will, under the will of this being. Why? You are so stupid. Why don't you know this? Eh? So, you have to answer me, because I want you to... No, know. I don't have to. So, tell me, what is your name? No! Your name? 
now. I want your name now. Speak. Speak. Disconnect, Milena. Disconnect. Milena, disconnect. And breath. And relax. Milena? Yes. How are you? Okay. How are you? Okay, I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. I want to talk to, to Adriana now. Adriana, where today or there? No, no, the, the moment of the reincarnation. Yug. Okay? Yeah. Yug. Yug. It's, it's not my name anymore. Eh? What, is your, what is your name now? I don't have Okay, a name. your name is Adriana because in the next life you will be Adriana. Don't, don't cry. Wait a moment. Take it off. Don't cry. <laughs> Please take it off. We are working on you. We need time. I need to talk to you. So just relax and listen to me. So, uh, Adriana, yeah. did you see how this this reptiloid was so um, bothered with me yeah. and angry? So, Adriana, yeah. order him to dance. <laughs> yes, he, he's dancing now, but okay. I, I'm so, too. I, wait a I, moment. I do you know, do you know why this, this, this reptile is dancing now? Because you order. No, no, me, me, no, no, me, no, you. I this reptile is not interfering with me. I know. It's interfering with you now. So it's, He's under your will, not mine. Your uh -huh. will. I order him because of you. Because you so are allowing me to order you. But it's your will. Because of you. Of your will. Understood? <laughs> yes. Okay, I so let me with him. The reptiloid. Reptiloid? What? <laughs> I want to know your name. Tell me your name. Sirk. 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 With a bad name. I don't like it. Sirk. 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 Now sing a song. Why? Sing Why a song. I have to sing, talk to sing a you. song. Why I have to do sing a song. I like you so much. I like sing a song. I Sing a song. Stop. <laughs> Let me with Adriana. Adriana. Yes. Adriana. He's under your power. Hmm? Understood, right? Or I, not? I said I'm just so oh, tired. Perfect. Want. This is the first thing. You know it's your power. He's under your power. This is the first thing you need to know to get free. <laughs> Second thing. You have to throw away your fear. Where is your fear? Observe everywhere. your body. Everywhere. Everywhere? Okay. The your fear. Everywhere too. Adriana? Your fear is your energy. You created it. I it's an energy and you modulate it with a certain frequency. I know. Okay. With fear, you can be under control. You can be manipulated. So others, like this reptiloid, can manipulate you through your own will. Just recollect <laughs> all this energy of fear in you. Recollect it in your hands and extract it, extract it from your body. When you have this outside your body, in your head, just tell me. There is like a huge la layer of fear in me. It's because I wasn't prepared to die. Take it... this energy. Take this fear. Take it. Yes. Take it. All this fear. 
all, all of this. Yes. <laughs> okay, That's when you have a little a ball. A huge layer, yes, covering me. When you have this ball of energy in your hands, yeah. tell me. I have it. Okay, now extract it from your body. It was so cold and so heavy. It's so yes. cold now. So now I count one, two, three. When I say three, you throw it away from a dimensional portal. And uh, yes. this energy disappears forever. Okay. Okay. So, ready. Yeah. Set. Go. Three. Okay. Perfect. How are you now? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You're good. Okay. So, you dead. You dead in your past life into a battlefield, yeah. and and you get hired into a, a military cables and wires. Yeah. This trauma of your body, you you transform it. This trauma into a energy inside of you. So you are creating this this trauma in your spiritual, etherical body. Yeah. It's your creation because you are a creator. You are completely powerful in yourself, in your it's space. Very realistic. It's like material, like a real wire piercing my eyes. Because my brain. it's your like. creation. Okay, now. Transform these wires, cables, in fluid energy to recollect with your hands again with the last one. Do it. And you, when you have all this energy in your hands, tell me. It's a memory of past life. Yes, it's yes. a memory. Just transform it into, a, into a energy and recollect it in your yes. hands. Yes. It's melting now. Perfect. Well, it's your it's power. A... Yeah. You can do it. You are a creator. You can transform, create, it, destroying everything. Uh, okay. Uh, Tell me when you're finished. It's like milk inside. Mm -hmm. Like liquid. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Recollect all this liquid. This energy of trauma in your hands. Uh, okay. Is there all in your hands? Oh. Perfect. Yes. Entonces, so I count again one, two, three. When I say three, you throw it away from a dimensional portal forever. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. Out. Uh, I wanted to keep this memory because I thought that way I could connect with my family. Wait a moment. But yes, in yes. fact, I couldn't because of it. Tell me, first of all, how do you feel now? I don't know. I don't remember that feeling. Okay. And I'm very well. You are very well. Okay, observe into your body and tell me if you can see fear energy, trauma energies, or something that is not yours. Yes, I can see things like a metallic tube. Mm -hmm. Metal tube. Okay. Yes. Uh, who these tubes he, are? Who? His. The reptiloid? Yes. Serk? Serk, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, just observe the moment when Serk installed in you this, this wires, these tubes. Just observe just, this scene. Just at the moment when I arrived here. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. I want to talk to him. Do you allow me? Yes. Sure. Sark. Again. Yes, again. What now? Tell me, what this kind of wires, cables, you put into uh, Adriana body? Wires were in mine. Mm -hmm. What is the function of these devices? These elements. I want to use your energy against mm. you. I use it 
I feed myself and mm -hmm. my people. Mm -hmm. And I use it for our technology. Mm -hmm. So you use the Adriana for your personal energy feed? Of course I do. Mm -hmm. And what else? Only this? I use her uterus. I use her eyes to see her uterus and her genes for our purpose. Mm -hmm. What kind of Re purpose? We want to reproduce mm -hmm. and did using you... your genetic material. Mm -hmm. So, let me with Milena. Milena. Disconnect the Milena. Mm -hmm. Disconnect. Just observe if this reptiloid uh, tried to fertilize. Fertilize? Mm -hmm. No? No, that's no. But, but they did it try? Mm -hmm. Not in her body. Mm -hmm. But they use her. Uh, I don't know. Some kind of cells. But very specific cells from her uterus. And they use just energy of those cells, like, I don't know how even to explain you. It should um, work like, it should work like something which attracts consciousness. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, Adriana, uh, did Adriana give uh, embryos or or sand to this no, reptiloid? No, never? No, no, mm -hmm. Okay, so now observe in how many beings, humans, or mm, what kind of beings, I don't know, is connected this reptiloid to get feed. Oh, with many... How many beings? Many. Mm -hmm. Humans, for example? Humans, mm -hmm. yes. How many? Uh, more than, more than uh, 100,000 people, uh, but not only living, but also mm -hmm. like phantoms. Mm -hmm. And, but also there are other beings, not only humans. Okay, so, okay. And uh, how many collaborators subordinated have uh, uh, this reptiloid? Depends what what happens uh, uh, on Earth. When there is a war, they mm -hmm. gather, gather, mm -hmm. and there are really, really huge groups. But now mm -hmm. it's only like three spaceships, mm -hmm. and uh, there are like 100. Uh, reptiloid, no mm -hmm. more. Okay, so I want to talk directly to this this Cirque again. Uh, Cirque. What? Mm -hmm. I'm talking because of You're the power so and the will of Adriana. So is Adriana really to order you now? This. Now, disconnect yourself from any being you are connected now. Disconnect no. completely now. Disconnect. Let me with Milena. Milena. Yes. What happened? I don't know. It's like uh, someone who is sleeping without consciousness. I mean, there is some kind of consciousness, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Where is Cirque? I don't know. I can see just his body like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, just observe now, Adriana, in this present moment when I'm talking to you, this very present moment. How do you see her now? Well, well she is a yes. That she is connected with is connected um, she's connected with this we circle or another being it's a process i can see her disconnecting but slowly and uh, mm -hmm. leaving this place this spaceship mm -hmm. but very slowly it's mm -hmm. a process mm -hmm. okay just tell me this process like 
there is no uh, thick walls for her. There are like holes, and uh, she is just in a natural way going out and out and out, and uh, and everything is disappearing, but slowly, you know, it's very slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, just arrive at the time when this process is completely over. This process is over just before she decides to mm -hmm. incarnate as Adriana. Okay. Okay, so observe Adriana now. Tell me if you can see into her body some devices that are not yours or if there is... Mm. No, impossible. A connection with external beings, for mm. example? No? No, before she enters to, I will call it, our <sighs> atmosphere. Okay, uh, now disconnect from Adriana. Disconnect how the session is over, for example. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just disconnect completely. You don't see Adriana. No, I can't. Okay, you get get out from Adriana environment. Okay. okay, now look for Cirque. Where is he? I know he exists, but I don't have I I don't have access. Yes, I, I know. But so call him. Call him. Just call him. No reply. Mm, I want to call him. Did you authorize me to do it through you? Yeah. Yes. Sirk. Sirk. Where are you? Sirk. This is Kalo. Do you remember me? Sirk. How are you, Sirk? Sirk? Let's go with Milena. Milena? Disconnect. Yes, but there was no one, absolutely no one. Mm -hmm. Okay, he really exists, but it's I know. in another dimension, another density, but yeah. out of our densities and dimensions. Yeah. I could hear your voice like an echo in, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the space. space. Yeah. Okay. Just now observe the future with these new esoteric foundations of Adriana, and tell me, first of all, she's very happy. Mm -hmm. She was very happy coming here. Or service her uh, financial situation, professional situation too. Oh, she's free to create, so there is no any any obstacle to, in that part of her life. Mm -hmm. Everything is okay. Just observe if... What about the self-esteem of Adriana now? That doesn't exist in her mind. I mean, there is no self-esteem because she accepts herself as she is. Mm -hmm. And do uh, you can see express yourself without problems in present and future? Oh yes, of course. She's very happy, very smiling. When she's not able to say something, express something mm -hmm. with words, she express with her mimic, with her eyes and smile and, and so on. Mm -hmm. she, she's uh, very well connected with people. Does she yeah. smoke? Her etheric part, no. Okay, I want to talk to Adriana now. Mm -hmm. Adriana. Yes. How are you? Well. <laughs> Adriana, why do you smoke? Because there was some kind of emptiness, but I don't remember that very well. And 
I need to see, I need to, I needed to feel like warmness in me. Why? But because I felt empty. But I don't remember that okay. very well. You don't need to smoke mm, again no, to do this I because can. you can create your energy. You can. I have my energy. Okay, so. Mm, just create what do you need the, the awareness for example you can do a different energy you are a creator you know now I'm very well I'm really 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 well Perfect. I'm very happy okay Adriana yeah look for your mother Yes, she's here. What do you see? She was very worried her entire life. Very worried for everything. Mm -hmm. And now, how do you see her now? Crying. Crying. <laughs> okay, now you can transfer her the information of your session. So, if your mother wants to absorb this information and, uh, and know how to get and use this information, she can yes. change your situation, uh, her I situation. Have, I've just done it. Mm -hmm. Tell me, she, what do you see? She doesn't have to be worried anymore. Mm -hmm. I love her so much. Okay. And do you allow me to talk directly to her? Sure. Okay. Mother of Adrena, can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm with your daughter, Adriana. I know. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell her anything? I, I don't know how to express it with words, but I always, always loved her. And I love her, and I will love her. Okay, wait a moment. Adriana, Adriana on Skype. Do you want to talk to her? Yes? Turn on your microphone and, and tell to her. Talk to her. Uh, speak loud, please. More loud. I <coughs> also don't know what to say, but I also loved her because I know when she died, we didn't <coughs> say goodbye to each other. We had a big argument. And I think I was selfish. She's yeah. listening to you directly. You can talk directly to her. So we have Please forgive me because I really love you. There is nothing to forgive. I was really selfish and I didn't know to handle the situation. There is nothing to forgive. Everything is okay. And I love you. Always and forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Adriana. Mother of Adriana, how are you now? Peaceful. Peaceful, okay. So, when you want to go, just go. Yes. Let me with Milena and thank you. Thank you, too. Milena. Yes, yes, I'm here. How are you? Oh, good, okay. Okay, <clears throat> just uh, ask uh, Adriana to look for, for her father. She doesn't know where she's turning and where, where's my father. 
Do you see him alive or not? I see him very, very old, very tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, does her father want to, to say something to her? Yes. Adriana? Yes. Yes. What? Sorry, I wasn't there. I was immature. I wouldn't be a good father. That was the best option. But please forgive me. My absence. <clears throat> Adriana, do you on Skype? Do you want to talk to her? To him? No? Okay. Okay, uh, father of Adriana. Um, we have to go now, so let me with Milena. Milena? Yes. Also, the father of Adriana go away, goes away, and tell me. He was never really, really here because there is no uh, like uh, a connection between the emotional connection. But it's okay. It's very, very calmful, very peaceful. It's okay. Okay, so ask uh, Adriana if we can stop and close the session. You can stop, but she starts. <laughs> yes. Of course. Okay, so Milena, disconnect from her, from everyone, everything, completely. Disconnect. I count to one, two, three, and you get here in the present moment when I'm talking to you now. One, your body is waking up. You can feel your body waking up slowly, and it's very peaceful. Two, you can feel your energy. You can feel this good sensation of wellness inside you. You can feel this sensation of peace and relax around you, inside, inside you. It's your energy. There are your frequencies. And three. Open your eyes. I can stay like this. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Hello. So, thank you, Milena. Adriana. Did you feel something? Anything, Adriana, during the session? <clears throat> yes. I mean, I thought it was a bit emotional. Um, from the very beginning, uh, this uh, finding a book. Now I understand why I never like Germany or France. Uh, you you hate you don't like it, Germany or France? I, I was attempting to go to France about three times in my life and it never happened. But it's always like same different war, weather. But you are in England now, no? Yes, yes. Mm? yes. So mm? <laughs> as in your past, Englishman. <laughs> Okay, so now you need to metabolize the session in your physical plan. And uh, that's it. Just enjoy your life. <laughs> Adriana, do you want to publish your session? Yes, why not? Yes? Yes, you yes. Mm -hmm. You can just cover my face. Yeah, do you want your, your face covered? Yes, yeah? Please. Okay. That's it. So, get online, don't go away, I just stop the record.